Okay, this is Jeff with Mile High Automation, and um, I am going over how to control the new LiftMaster MyQ garage doors with Security 2.0 with a basic, normally open relay. Um, so, garage door motors before the ones that came out with Security 2.0, all you had to do was short out two contacts in the back of the motor, and that would act just like a button press and open it up. Um, really easy to tie these into home automation systems so that homeowners can open those up for the delivery guy or let the maid in or what have you. Um, LiftMaster decided to add something they call Security 2.0, which makes sense from a wireless standpoint but was totally pointless from a wired standpoint. Basically, instead of, you know, when you press, press this button, it shorts out the button press, um, shorts out two contacts, and tells the motor to open, the new LiftMaster ones will actually send a encrypted serial message when you press that that is unique every single time, goes to the motor, motor recognizes that message, and then operates the door. Um, homeowners don't really notice any difference, but when you're trying to control it with a third-party automation system or with the wireless transponder built into your car, um, makes it so there's a bunch of headaches for you. So for home automation, we are using a normally open relay and all we did was take apart a wireless transponder that's tied to the garage door opener. And then we took a little Cat6 conductor here. You can see I just pulled the blue white out of a Cat6. Um, and then went around and on these button contacts, figured out if you short those two out, simulates a button press. All right, just like that, and that. So those are my three buttons for the garage door opener. Um, this opener is already wirelessly tied to the garage door motor. So then, all we did was uh, solder wires onto the back side of those button contacts. It was really easy to get to, um, not hard to solder at all. And now, when we close, say, the orange and the orange-white with a normally open relay, when we close that loop, simulate the button press, this sends out the encrypted message, and we can open the garage door motor that way. Um, so a little bit of a headache, but for those of you looking for a solution for those new MyQ motors, this is pretty easy. It took about 10 minutes to do, and um, you, know, you can tie this to any relay and get full control.